This is mostly the same, that you just open this uh, when it goes up, and then a the, uh, parachute comes out of that. But it's a little taller than our other one, but most of the things are the same, like, uh, we use the same uh, wings. We uh, we tried to make it a little taller, and I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Because they said at the other competition that if you make it too tall, then uh, that uh, may ruin it and cause drag. So we uh, made it uh, the, almost the same height, uh, which is great uh, for it. <laughs> and then we, uh, for the inside, we uh, because for the other one, our parachute came off when it was in the sky. So we tried to uh, use a different kind of uh, glue to keep it on. And we tried to use a different kind of string to hold the parachute on. And the parachute was uh, part of an umbrella. But then the... Uh, uh, the connecting thingy is uh, a uh, fishing uh, line, which is strong enough to uh, hold it on today. So that, uh, so that was good. Can you have a Hi, we're Roberts, team number 72, and we did the water rockets this year, 2016, for the Science Olympiad tournament in Macomb. I think we did really well. You think? Yeah. Really? Tell, tell them what we this did. Is the, this is the rocket that we used to launch. It is um, Water Rocket, Rocket B from Roberts. We did a lot of work on it. We spent over maybe five, six months modeling it. What did we make it out of? We made it out of uh, pop bottles, and then we took a really long and skinny funnel, and then just stuffed the parachute on the inside of the bottle. And it's just another simple bottle that I don't, you, we won. Um, so what didn't work, well, my, our rock, one of our rockets, the first one that we launched went over the um, fence and our other coach is over there so he's, we tried to get it but I don't think we got it. That's what didn't work and this is our um, like, rocket that fixed. We tried everything with different fins and we tried um, different tops like golf balls. Marshall? Show them what we tried with the... Um, different ways that the rocket and the um, nose cap fit on because you couldn't make it too tight because when the rocket goes up the cone pushes down on the rocket so you couldn't make it tight on here you had to only just set it on there so that it tipped off to the side and the parachute came out and, and we put lots of decorations on it also yeah. right Claire tell them about the parachute and how hard these were to make well we cut all the stuff out and then we glued them onto here oh you retrieved rocket eh yeah. Okay. So we, we cut out the patterns out of garbage bags. 
-hmm. And what do we use to attach the different panels to each other? Um, um, double sided double permit sided tape. Double sided permit tape. So the circle tape. Things. And then we attach string onto here with a little. Right. That's what we call these? A fishing lure. Fishing. Yeah. Snap swivel. And a snap um, swivel, sorry. Fishing snap and, swivel. And this ring right here, um, it's what holds the snap swivel and the connection to the parachute and the connection to the ring. So this so this ring basically is the attacher to all this stuff. And it holds it together so it won't fall apart. It right. took an hour just to make this little ring. And we attached the parachute to the nose cone so that when the nose cone fell off in air, that the parachute would catch the wind and then the rocket would float down. And just so the and just so the parachute went we put we cut out little slits on the nose cone so it fit perfectly on there and then you nudge it a few times and it wouldn't really move at all.